Hello YouTube, hello boys and girls, welcome back to my Lepidus campaign. Before I start, I wanna said that I wanna finish this campaign as soon as I can, so I can move on with my other games. You can find that tons of the playlists on my channel and all the games that I'm playing. I'm currently very very interested in Hearts of Iron 3. I have around 500 hours invested in that game and I think that I'm good doing a really good job in explaining many different aspects of the game. So both of my let's plays, Germany and Turkey, are done as some kind of a practical tutorial where I'm playing the game and explaining what am I doing and why am I doing that. So I will definitely recommend you to check that out. Uh, I would also like to say how I'm really happy to see support from my Croatian friends. Hvala ekipa, hvala vam svima. Nadam se da će vam se sviđati sadržaj na mome YouTube kanalu. Možda jednoga dana čak snimim i kompletni let's play na hrvatskom jeziku. Ali dobro, o tom potom vidjet ćemo. Malo me muče tagovi, ne znam kaj bi stavio dole u tagove s obzirom da ekipa kada traži nekakav YouTube video onda uglavnom upisuju riječ na engleskom jeziku, a teško mi je optimizirati video za search engine na, na hrvatskom, teško mi je upisati hrvatske tagove dole, ali razmislit ću o tome, ako imate bilo kakav savjet, javite. Alright, back to the action. First thing I wanna do, I wanna secure the promotion of one of the important characters in my dynasty. Marcus Aemilius Lepidus, my faction leader. Let's secure the promotion that will rise the influence of Lepidus dynasty. Currently it is at 38%. After I secure promotion, uh, the tax rate for the local province will increase, his gravitas will increase, and upkeep for all land units in that army will be lower. Securing the promotion. And now the influence of Lepidus dynasty is at 43%. Let's do the same thing for other characters that are leading big armies. Of course you have to pay for for the promotion. So Buko. Let's promote the Buko. Buko. Secure promotion cost 640. Let's promote him. And this guy. Trajanus. 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 Here he is. Mm, he is not from my family, so I cannot promote him. Uh, there is one thing that I would like to see implemented in, in, in this game. And it's let's for let's say for example I'm looking for this general on a map. I would like to have some kind of option so I can double click or press the button and the game will automatically, automatically lead me to that character on a map. Because now it's a bit harder to search for the characters that you want. So that would be a really really neat feature. Let's level up my champion. I wanna take strength and rise the chances for assassination. And another thing that I want to do is move Marcus Aemilius Lepidus the Younger. This is not my faction leader. This is uh, this guy. 45 Gravitas. Let's, since uh, I have a non-aggression pact with all those tribes over here and Numidia is my client state, I have a feeling that this area is quite safe, quite secure. So. I will put this general into a forced march and push him closer to the Western Europe. I want to rise another army. It should be helpful to me because I'm sure that Octavian have a much more over here than they are showing. I can see one large army, one full stack over here. And I can see another one here. So I'm quite sure they have much more. Let's move my spy up over there and see what they actually have. This province is empty. Uh, 
I cannot recruit more units, the stack is full. Hispania was my military recruiting province, but now it is uh, quite far from the front line, so I want to convert it and build more economy buildings, improve my agriculture since as a Lepidus you have one trait which improves the wealth from agriculture buildings. So I want to base my economy on agricultural la 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 buildings. Uh, I think that's it and I can end my turn. No, let's set. Oh, how I forgot. Drone 2 have one really, really neat feature where you can go to diplomacy screen and you can set the war coordination target and tell them where and who to attack for example I can click on this general or on a province no 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 on a general or let's say on this province no I don't want them to attack the province I want them to attack over here and now you can see that this general have the icon this eagle turning around this is the target for my allies which is quite good now you can lead your allies where you want let's end the turn I will definitely play all my future Total War campaigns on a higher difficulty settings like hard or very hard because I can see that people are not so interested on normal although I think that most of the people actually plays the game on normal difficulty but I think how they like to watch let's plays on hard and very hard difficulty because they are looking for some kind of tips or advices or something that they can learn from they are looking for informative recordings and I think that people will be more interested in harder campaigns and I promise you that every future Total War campaign will be on hard or very hard difficulty I'm currently playing Partia uh, which is also part of Imperator Augustus campaign uh, I'm playing Partia on a very hard difficulty so if you are interested in a higher challenging campaigns I would recommend you to drop a look over there let's try to assassinate this champion slaughter 22% for assassination and 46% chance to wound him let's try enemy assassinated great I have some agents to level up and here is the one tip here is the one tip when leveling up this is the champion, the veteran, which is merged with my army. Let's say I want to improve the chances of assassin for assassination, for assassinating the other characters. You can see that Valor skill have uh, assassination increased by 10%. And you also have Strength skill, assassination increased by 10%. But what's the difference? We have three major traits. We have authority, we have cunning, and we have zeal for all agents and for all generals. Since this champion have only three authority but have four zeal, I want to improve the chance for assassination by using the zeal skill. Take a look at the icon. If I mouse over the valor skill, assassination single combat plus 10 percent chance blah 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 take a look at the icon close to it is the icon of authority skill and if i mouse over the strength the assassination have the icon of zeal skill so this type of, of assassination will use zeal 
while this type of while this type of assassination will use authority skill since my champion have higher zeal I will go for strength which increases the zeal increases the chance for manipulation and increase the chance for assassination by using that zeal skill Whoa, 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 whoa. How can I serve? How can I be of assistance? At your service. Ever? What do you wish? Of your orders? Let's try to use my navy and try to strike the Pompeys. You can see that they are suffering attrition. That's probably because they lack some food or something. Well, they have they have a lot of Whoa, they have a full stack here. They have garrison with four units of legionaries, veteran legionaries. No, it is impossible to win this. Yes. But maybe I can strike Octavian. Maybe I can strike Octavian. Let's pull back to my to my sea region over here. And recruit more legionaries like this and over here I'm playing the mini game with the Pompey where he is trying to reach one of my settlements but the problem for them is that they don't have roads here there is no road here so they need more movement points and they cannot reach uh, the settlement in a single turn while over here I have the advantage and I have roads I have roads so my army can easily reach from one position to another and I can defend my settlement let's recruit uh, two units of first cohort one for each flank and now I can end my turn oh upgrade the construction site in Hispania I want, I want sanitation and I will destroy the workshop and now it's time to end another turn, another turn let's improve the farms here the town check out the list of my provinces provinces edicts that I want we have romanization here let's check out the Roman culture it's dropping a bit while Iberian is rising influence 6 influence 20 let's let's go for tax rate what's the wealth of this province income 1350 2300 in Africa I will go for a tax rate in Africa no, we'll keep it like this. We'll keep it like this. Yeah, we'll rise the tax rate. All right, Sicily. Mm, no, 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 no. Looking for a rich province. Hispania. Let's rise the tax rate over here also. And I can end the turn.
wonder can I use my navy and strike directly to Roma? Research complete. What do you wish of me? At your service. I serve only Rome. Seems like this province is empty. On the road again. champion to train my units time for research and now I want a boiling goal that's for sure let's let's start to recruit more units and starting with the cheap units first because that way I'll have to pay less for upkeep too bad I cannot recruit slingers See what my navy can do against. Oh, Caralis is now empty. Can I win it now? No, still not. Whoa. Whoa, no, 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 no. Let's retreat. Let's retreat. Let's try. Let's let's see what is happening in Roma. Let's go over there. And now I have to reposition my army from Syracuse to Panormus. Oh man, I can't forget. If I only forgot to move them from settlement to settlement, I will lose it. Man, I, I must get rid of them. But I don't have enough movement points to reach and attack them. Look at this. I cannot attack them. So I have to stay in a province. Let's end the turn. Finally, finally they decided to move out of the Sicily. I don't want my recordings to be too long because then I need a lot of time to render those videos and upload them to the YouTube. And I cannot keep the attention of my viewers for I, I, I don't believe that my viewers are watching more than 10 minutes. I don't think that I'm so funny and entertaining for them. I cannot strike at the Roma directly. I should use transport ships, but maybe... Maybe, Ge yeah, Genoa is at sea. Let's try. Let's try to get over there. Or I can try to loot Aleria. Let's get back to Hispania and building a public forum. My phone is ringing. I should probably answer who's calling my girl. All right, she can wait. Uh, Let's continue with the recruitment. Time for some legionaries. Not enough cash for more. Now things are getting really, really expensive. I have some skills to assign. Alright, 
right, they are now far away from me. Maybe I can. Maybe I could try and attack Pompey from this direction. Or I let's let let's strike at. No, I don't have enough movement points. Let's recruit more units. I need more cavalry. One unit. Level up my agents. Let's check out how tax harvesting addict is influencing my income. Twenty eight hundred, mm, not much. Let's let's keep it at the bread and gains. So for now, so I can end the turn, or I can, since this region is empty, 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 empty. Oh, phone is ringing again. I have to answer. Sorry. All right, but I will start attacking Genoa because I also have a support from my navy. Try to take it. We'll just loot it actually. I will just loot it, take the money and leave the province. Let's level up this champion again. Let's see what we have. Alright, I will end the turn and I will end the recording. I hope that you like what you saw today. I hope that you like what I said today because i really am eager to finish the lepidus campaign first i will probably do it but i'm also playing tons of the other games you can find them all on my channel you can see that i have around five or six active let's plays and I really don't know which should I focus on. If you have any kind of idea what, what campaign of all of those are really interesting to you, please tell me. It will be really helpful. We have military sabotage. Let's strike at Genoa. We'll auto resolve with a aggressive stance. And I will just raise the province. Let ra oh no, I lost the one unit of Roman Ballista. Man. Oh man, I, I had to fight it by myself. Let's raise the settlement, take the cash and leave. Uh, why I don't like looting settlements? Because if you loot the settlement, here it, here it rings again. If you loot the settlements, then all the captives that you have will be taken as slaves. And all those slaves will be equally distributed around your empire. They will drive your economy. But on the other side, you will have a lot of problems with the public order. So don't loot a lot of settlements. Instead, you can raise them, take a bit less cash and just make damage to your enemy. All right, I, I really have to go. I really have to go now. I really have to go. Uh, military traditions. All right, I will leave everything for the next time. Thank you for watching, guys. I really hope that you did like what you saw today. If you did, please press the like button down below. Check out my Facebook page, Twitter page and everything else. Until the next time, I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.